Welcome back to our 16th session of the Art as Therapy. I'm Yoko. Today, we will learn how art as therapy can bring hope. We will also explore therapeutic art activities for hope and dream. I would like to share with you one important aspect of art. That is, art is an avenue of hope. One of the biggest problems today is that we do not feel strong enough that we are part of a larger community or a larger we. There are problems around the world such as climate change, injustice, animal rights or marginalization. Although there seems to be something or enough information for us to do or to help solve the problems as a community, we do not feel strong enough that they matter to us. But art has the power to bring hope. A work of art does not tell us what to do, but it connects to our senses, mind and soul. Art can help us to feel the world. This feeling can spur engagement, thinking and even action. On a personal level, when we share or show a personal artwork to another person, it can bring connections and make us feel seen. Our feelings of joy, pride, pain or suffering can be shared and this helps to validate our feelings and experiences. It can make us feel less overwhelmed. Art making can help us to get in touch with our inner strengths and can also be used as a tool to preserve a hopeful attitude and determination to face the challenges in our lives. Art can harness the power of imagination that leads us to create possibilities for our life. So what we are going to prepare for this activity is very simple. The soft pastel. So uh, when I say soft pastel, you may wonder there may be a hard pastel. Yes, there are. So um, you just look out for the soft pastel. It means that the medium is softer. It's also okay if you have hard pastel. So number of colors really depends on personal choices. Okay. And usually soft pastels are used on paper medium. So. Uh, it depends on the surface of the paper as well. It's better to use paper to have a smoother surface. Uh, we actually may need this um, extra tool. So this tool is for us to scrap the soft pastel and make it into powder. So some people may use a palette knife, some people may use just a ruler, or anything that is hard that you can just scrap the soft pastel okay for more effects you can also use cotton buds okay later i'm going to share with you uh, how you can create more effects with cotton buds and you can always prepare a kitchen towel because you, we, in this activity we are going to use our fingers so when everything is ready we can start and as this activity relates to hope and dream let us imagine a place or space that you want to go. Sometimes this space or this place may be very hard or difficult to imagine or in real life we may never be able to go there, reach there. But in our picture, we can bring it out. We can try to imagine and visualize how this place looks like for us. So for soft pastel art, uh, because we are going to use our fingers, it's also good to start with light colors, so then it slowly progress to the darker colors. In technical sense, it's also because darker colors can cover lighter colors. So it would be good to use lighter colors in the beginning and then you progressively use darker colors.
this method of using soft pastel powder, some people, um, especially in Japan, they call it Nagomi art. It is quite commonly used in Japanese culture as people find the healing power of using their fingers to touch the soft pastel and smooth the surface, almost go with the flow. Sometimes we have a picture in mind, sometimes we don't have. So as I'm doing it, I'm imagining a place of comfort. I'm imagining going to this place that is soft, tender and comfortable, a safe space that sometimes will help me to feel that all my worries can be set aside and when I feel very comfortable maybe it's a kind of relief for me So as the image emerges, it looks like the sky, it also looks like the beach near the ocean, there's this very gentle breeze. Maybe I'm walking by the shore, it just reminds me that it's possible sometimes when we feel stuck to find a place that looks like this or that feels like this. So I'm also looking at the movement. It inspires me of something moving, you know, um, like water. So it reminds me of being formless, shapeless and flexible like the water flowing. Is it a kind of resilience that we need to have? Like over time, we may just need to be like water and adapt to different situations like the water. So. I didn't plan of uh, creating this, I just started with the colors that I feel comfortable with. And now it's still evolving, but there are lots of thoughts that come up and it just makes me feel that it's possible. As long as we believe there may be a place like this, there may be a space that can bring us hope. Okay, so let me try with this cotton bud and first of all I'm going to scrap some soft pastel powder. Maybe I'll use this red color and some orange. I'm just going to play with this and see what would happen. We have come to the end of today's session. To summarize, we have learned about how art as therapy can bring hope. We have also explored therapeutic art activities for hope and dream. I hope you enjoyed the session. See you next time.